Welcome to the Mark VI Arc Reactor and Stand explanation video. Uh, what I want to show you is the breakdown of how this whole setup works. So what we're looking at is um, the element first. This is a 3D printed uh, translucent piece that covers three SMD LEDs, an ATtiny85 inside, custom circuit board on the back, as well as a lithium polymer 40 milliamp hour battery. Uh, there's a program that I developed uh, that runs to read the ambient light with the photo cell here. Uh, when it's really high by something like a laser, uh, you get, you gotta find that sweet spot there. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, and it will turn extremely bright. And once it reaches maximum power, you get this uh, sustained, it sustains its own energy. Well, or it uses up what's in the battery. Uh, it lasts for about 25 minutes. And uh, the only other thing that's on there uh, no worth noting is this copper tape that goes along the back. And I'll explain what that uh, does in a little. So that will leave going. Uh, let's look at the main stand and housing. Uh, this took a lot of time to design, uh, but it's pretty much like shot for shot, it looks exactly like what you see in the movie. Uh, there's these tightening knobs that can pivot. Um, there is a translucent blue uh, housing on the inside to kind of disperse the light, as well as this rotator piece, which you kind of see something similar uh, in the movie. Uh, what I did also is, you'll notice there is all the circuitry in the bottom. There's an Arduino, as always. Uh, speaker lithium battery, a battery charger, so you can just plug a USB cable in, run it out the side, and leave this powered all the time. And a power switch here. Uh, there is wires that run up through the stem, come out here, and there are also two white wires uh, that run up through these bars on the side. I figured, well, let's make them practical. Uh, and what that does is, you'll see, it's really hard to make out here, but there are two metal contacts on either side. And they're basically waiting for the circuit to be completed. So what happens is you've got this cradle part that sits inside the housing. There are three little notches that slide into the grooves here uh, to keep it aligned. Um, and what happens with this is on the back, you'll see there's some copper tape that runs here as well as on this side. And it folds over to the inside where the element sits. So if you've already figured it out, uh, what that's gonna do is, it's not, it's waiting right now. Okay, I'll turn the power on. Nothing happens because this is not bridged. As soon as you take the element, whether it's powered or not, uh, and place it in there, you're going to get the power up sequence. So you hear a little beep boop from the speaker and the light starts flashing um, and the rotator starts rotating. Uh, and it will do this little power up sequence and it looks kind of nifty from behind there. Um, that's what it looks like from the side. And when it reaches maximum power again, the blue light stays on. And then you can take this cover, snap that into the notches there, give it a rotate, and now you can remove the charged part uh, that goes into the final piece, which is the chest uh, backing, uh, back housing. So this has the same three notches and a whole bunch of LEDs. There's a power switch, some Velcro on the back, its own battery, and a speaker inside. So when this switch is in the down position, uh, you can slide this in and you'll notice there's also some copper tape here. That is going to bridge these two points at the bottom, which then allows this to do the charge up sequence seen in the movie. And if you've seen the previous video, you'll know that it's a very slim form factor. It's only about two centimeters, a little over two centimeters thick. Uh, and there are holes all the way around to allow sound to escape a little better. So uh, this thing will last a good eight hours on one charge of the battery. Uh, obviously the, the element on the inside will uh, die in a f about 10, 15 minutes, but the rest will stay illuminated for the whole time. So in the diffuse lens kind of gives you the same effect you're looking for. So this is the, uh, entirety of the kit. Uh, the only other thing I guess uh, you might want to see is there's a wonderful lid or cover you can put on the bottom to seal everything in. And that gives you the Mark VI arc reactor and stand. Now, the question many of you have been wondering, how can I get one? 
how much are they? And the answers are I don't know and I don't know yet. Uh, I will have that information soon. Uh, what actually, I better remind myself, I wanna make a note here. So, do do making notes on my keyboard. Oh, no, that's right. It's a uh, fake keyboard, but it looks pretty real. Uh, but I will actually update my website, therealtonystark.com. Uh, so check there, keep an eye on my YouTube channel. I've got more things in the works that I'll be debuting uh, in the next few weeks. And um, thanks again for watching.